Well, let me know when we're shooting. I'll, I'll try and loosen up. We're shooting now. Hello, friends. It's your man, JK, coming at you from RA Senate Public School, the future home of 360 Insights. And we're coming at you with episode two of the transformation of RA Senate. Now, if you missed episode one, you need to go back and check it out. There's a lot of cool stuff in there, like employees behaving badly. A little naughty story that I want to share just between you and I. Torrid love affairs. There's my first crush ever, Jimmy Little. He's got such a sweet face. And just a little bit of destruction in there for good measure. It's a must watch. So last episode, if you'll recall, we got into a lot of the what's and the how's, but we never really touched on the why. Why does an international technology company buy an old decrepit public school and try to rebuild it into something new? Well, that has a lot to do with this guy, our former chief of staff and amazing friend, Todd Skinner. One of my mission statements in life is to move and inspire people to live bigger lives than they thought possible. So when I met the founder of 360 Incentives, Jason Atkins, uh, it was like you know a match made in heaven because he said his goal in life was to build a great company. So I said, so what does a great company mean to you? And Jason said, it's really quite simple. You know, number one, I want to deliver an unbelievable client experience. I want to provide an unbelievable workplace for our employees. And he said, and I want to make a difference in the world. And I figure if we get those two right, we're going to be able to make a difference in the world. So I think in. Uh 2012, construction going on. I think in 2012, we were talking about where to put 360 in the future. We were probably 30 employees. Uh, and I was seeing with Todd, and he's like, you have to really think about this. You know, I was like, we'll just move to the office building down the street. And he's like, no, we have to write the right vibe. Uh, and so he literally would drive around neighborhoods. And one night he called me, he said, I found the location. And I said, where? And he goes, it's a public school. And I was like, a public school? And he's like, yeah. When you will build a company, it's all about like growth and learning. You want to inspire people. You want an amazing atmosphere uh, to build a culture. And I thought, wow, it actually makes a ton of sense. So I drove by and three-acre campus, downtown Whitby, you know, beautiful historic building. And we thought, how do we make this happen? And uh, now fast forward to 2017, four years later. So it takes a little bit of time, but four years later, uh, we're here today uh, doing construction, and hopefully we'll be in here in the next six months. Six months. Have you seen this place? Anyway, I love the optimism. There's just a lot going on right now. A lot of destruction, a lot of construction. And that's where our man, Tony Panofsky, comes in. Clara. Yes. Hey, we're going to be doing some suction. You want to come and uh, see how it's done? <laughs> I love suction. What's going on, Tony? What's happening right now? Right now, we got a vac truck here. And we're going to be doing a little bit of suction to the ground and uh, we'll it. find out what's happening <laughs> below our feet. Stay away from the creases here. When we investigated the roof, uh, initially it was pretty bad shape. It was old roof, at least 20, 30 years old roof. And it's time to be uh, re and read. So it had to be done uh, as soon as we can in order to stop all the leaks uh, coming into the building. In Italian, we call this the cupola. Uh, it needs to be rebuilt. That's why we put some, uh, some pieces, you know, just to protect it from the weather. But other than that, uh, it's falling apart. As you can see, everything is on the edge. Are you going to replace it or no? Are you just going to... That's up to Jason and uh, Ian. Yeah. Now, Tony's an amazing guy, but he doesn't get to just do whatever he wants here all day. Okay, you're, this is it right here. Oh, what? Tony makes up half of an amazing dream team. The other half is 360's team happiness manager, Christy Elliott. Well, the question is, is there any surprises? Like, I literally just want to say, how much time do you guys have? Like, because it's, it's constant, right? Like, there's constant questions. Like, everything has to have a permit. Like, for tree cutting, like, you want to cut down, like, a bush. You've got to, like, get a permit. 
Christy's been working on this project since well before the construction began. In fact, Christy's probably been on this project longer than anybody. And so I submitted, gave it to all the architects that we were um, looking at. There was five. And so we ended up with Jason Martin. And then we began going through the whole thing of getting site surveys, parking uh, surveys, traffic impact studies, topographical surveys, geographical technician something something, heritage studies, electrical surveys, every poop surveys. I have no idea. There are so many things that we had to go through. I've never done this. People say planning a wedding is something that is takes a long time. Trust me, this is a lot more painful because there's a lot more people and departments involved. I'm glad it's her and not me. The great thing about Christy is she brings that team happiness manager vibe with her every time she visits the site. All right, so, oh, hello. hello. High five. Nice, all right. Hi, guys. High five. All right. In here, oh, hello. Yeah, that's okay. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, I'm Christy. Christy nice, nice to meet you. you. What are you doing? They seem to really love her. And the best thing about Christy has got to be her eye for detail and her very subtle leadership skills. You gotta edit that. You'll edit that, right? So it looks like we used to have a wall here and there and maybe the wrecking ball took it down. I'm not sure. Uh, way to the gym. No, this is the gym. Oh. This, lesson learned, Clem. Uh, Clem and I went to public school together. Uh, he doesn't remember me I though. Remember, I know, I know. I was really important, I guess. No. <laughs> Anyways, um, so this was the gym. So when they did the addition to the gym, um, prior to that, this is where the kids had the gym, which I don't think it's a very good height. You know what? There's a ton of things I'm really excited about, but honestly, the most exciting, like most thing that I'm excited about is just all being together as a family in one area and not having to work remotely all in different offices but kind of having the 360 family back together. With Christy's involvement in the project you know you're going to be seeing a lot more from her in future episodes. Speaking of episodes that's it for this one. You're all up to date again. Now if you can help us out by liking this video, sharing it to your friends, we really want the community to know what's going on here and we want to be able to answer everybody's questions. Why did I just touch my helmet? I don't know. Thank you for watching. See you next time.